Hey guys, Pogo here, and welcome to the next episode of Bucket Coding. In this episode, we are going to take a look at how to use titles, a uh, new feature added in Minecraft 1.8. Um, you can display big titles and subtitles which appear uh, overlaid on the game in the Minecraft font and they look really cool. It's great for, you know, especially I think adventure maps when you have, um, you know, like the title of the map or a certain chapter or a certain event occurs to have a big, um, you know, pop-up that grabs your attention for a couple seconds. It's really cool. And of course there are endless uses for this on a server. Um, so we're going to actually look at how to do it on a server. Now we could take a look at packets and that whole thing. And I probably will do that at some point because it's highly, highly requested to look at packets. Uh, but for this, we actually don't have to worry about that because uh, there's an API that will allow us to do this. I'm hoping that Bucket will fold this into, you know, Bucket or Spigot, whatever, eventually so that it'll just be built in. Uh, but as far as I'm concerned, it's not, and we'll just rely on this uh, external library for now. So um, here's the library. It's in this plugin called Title Welcome Message, um, which is just uh, it's just a plugin that lets you, you know, show titles and uh, whatever stuff like this. Um, you know, you can have a title up at the top and bottom of the tab bar. Or, so there's that uh, header and footer. And then you can have a big title and a little title, uh, subtitle, uh, you know, when the user logs in or when a certain event occurs. So there's this great plugin, but there's also an API, which they call Titles API. So uh, we can use this. It contains a few static functions or methods, rather, and we can use these uh, to display titles. So um, the documentation is uh, pretty sparse, but you're going to see here that you just uh, drop it in your service plugin folder, and then we're going to add it to our build path. But here you can see, you know, there's first the import. It's just a uh, class titles API. And then there are a couple of methods we can do. Uh, we can send a title, send a subtitle. We can send both a subtitle and a, a title and a subtitle at the same time, which is probably what you'll want to do a lot of the time. And then also the tab title, the header and the footer that show up when you press and hold on tab. Um, again, these all come with fade in or stay and fade out, which are in ticks. Again, 20 ticks is one second. Um, so, you know, you can say how long do you want the message to stay and how long do you want it to take to fade out. So you could have it disappear immediately or, you know, nice slow fade. And then again, you just specify the message and, of course, the player. Or, I guess, how long you want it to fade in, how long you want it to stay in, how long to fade out, and then the player and the message. Okay. So, uh, pretty simple stuff, just wrapped up in a couple of static methods. So, uh, let's go ahead and download the API. Of course, it's an add fly link. In the meantime, um, let me get this open. What is it? Bucket coding workspace, because we will need that. And all right, it's a Dropbox. There we go. So that was a nice and quick download. And there's your titles api.jar. Actually, we want to go to the Minecraft server and plugins. And I'm going to stick in titles api right there. So now we have the uh, API in there. So let's go ahead and start up Eclipse. And I might have to switch the workspace, but we'll see. Um, and then we'll just go back to here for a reference. Of course, this link uh, to the API is going to be down in the description. And it just has a sparse but decent description of everything. You know, we'll look at it today. Um, so just giving that a second to load up. I suppose I might as well also start the server in the background, make sure that this loads up correctly and everything. So I'll let that go. And, okay, this is the wrong project. This is from the April Fool's pranks. Um, so let's go to the bucket coding. And in the meantime, let's just see if this starts up. Oh no, I saw a stack trace. Oh, boy. Um, okay, so 
Apparently this is made for version 1.8 R2, which I don't have. So, this is version 1.8. Currently, I'm 169 versions behind. Um, yeah, this is R0.1. I guess the latest is R2. So I should probably update that. You know, just uh, give me a minute. Let me see if I can uh, update this. Awesome. So I just headed over to this getspigot.org website, um, which is actually a lot better than uh, the other method that I showed you, which involved building it. I think that this automatically builds it or, or something but um, I just downloaded it popped it in and it works you can clearly see titles API version 1.0 whatever um, and uh, that worked again let's just quickly check this is version 1.8.3 r0.1 uh, but you know whatever it, it worked so make sure you have uh, the latest version of spigot um, I went to get spigot.org and it worked just fine so you know, that will also be in the description, I suppose. Okay, so uh, we have titles API running so that now we can access the methods that it provides us. So we'll go and make a new project, of course, and we're going to call this one welcome title. This is going to display a title for the server when you log in. Because uh, I think that that is, you know, a pretty useful thing. Of course, you can do this with any sort of event uh, or whatever. Um, uh, but but we're just going to do this because this is a simple yet useful example. Um, so let's stick that plugin.yml in, and we will we'll call this. So we had welcome. Now we have welcome title. So uh, me.pogo. Welcome title. Welcome title. And the description is uh, display a title when the user logs in. And no commands for this one. No permissions either. You could do this by permission, you know, display different messages, but, um, you know, we don't need to do that. This is just to show off the API so that you can use it however you want. So we're going to add the external jars, and um, I guess we'll just add, we'll add craft bucket. Even if we're using spigot, I don't think it should matter, but we'll see. And then we're also going to add the titles API so that we can access it. And of course, we extend Java plugin and the implements listener. So this is just going to be the um, on enable and uh, the events. So public void on enable. And bucket .get server .get plugin manager register events. This come of this. Cool. And finally, um, at event handler public void on player join. And this is a player ah, join event e. So when the player joins, we want to send them, send them a message. So first, if I do titles API, um, you can see that we have uh, these methods. We have send full title, send subtitle, send tab title, send title, um, send title, uh, and then you know some other things that we don't need to worry about. And for some reason, it says that these are deprecated. I don't know why. Oh, there's a, there it is. There's a, um, I guess it wants us to use the send title message. And if you just look at this for a second, this source, I hope I'm not infringing on any copyrights. You can see that, um, you know, here it uses this packet, um, and then it displays uh, the information and then sends the packet to the player. So, again, we will look at that eventually, I promise. But, um, there is the send title, this one, and the send tab title. And those are the two that they want us to use. So this is not very useful. It's not updated. but um, So we'll just start with the first one. So we'll say uh, we want to do send title. And what do we need? We need the player, which is e.getPlayer. 
we need the fade in, which again is in ticks. So let's say we want it to fade in for half a second. We want it to stay for five seconds and fade out for half a second. The title is going to be um, Pogo, and it's going to say, Welcome to my server. Uh, or we'll just say, uh, Pogo server, welcome. Please enjoy yourself. No, please enjoy your time here. Sure. Great. So uh, let's just export this. And again, it should be that easy. If you look at the source, it's not terribly complex, but first we'd have to look at packets and stuff, which um, we will. And perhaps I'll use this as an example um, for packets because it's nice and easy. So let's export that and reload. And I don't think we got any errors or anything. Um, so now the question is, will it display the title when we join? And we will also look at the tab title, uh, which we didn't do. Um, but uh, let's just let Minecraft Launcher go. Okay. Uh, strange. All right. Okay, so it's updating, I guess. All right, good. So we're going to head over to the local host in just a second. And again, it should just display our title nice and easily. So let's take a look and see what happens. There it is, Pogo server. Welcome, please enjoy your time. Couldn't really see the fade in too well um, because of you know, it was lagging for a second, uh, but that fade out definitely worked, and you can clearly see um, that as soon as I joined, let's just try it again, maybe it'll work a little bit better, you can see, I guess you might want a longer fade in time because of that lag for a second, but it does display for five seconds, and then it fades out, and it looks really cool, because, you know, it's in that Minecraft font, but it's a big, full title um, that shows up, let's just try making it longer, let's just try making it a um, second and a half, why not, um, just to see if that helps at all. I don't know. Although I guess also sending it at when the player joins may not be the best idea, but there you go. So now you actually saw the fade in. stays for five seconds, and then it goes away. And you saw we did that on the player join, but you can see it's incredibly easy to stick that wherever you want. So, you know, you have a fighting server and the player gets a kill, so you send a message saying, you know, kill up or, you know, you get a kill streak or, you know, I don't know how those games work, but... Uh, or, you know, I don't know, I used to like playing on prison servers, so maybe you upgrade your rank and it shows that. Or, or if someone donates on your server, you put up a little subtitle for one second saying this player donated. Uh, so let's just quickly take a look at the tab. So you can see when I do the tab, oh, that's cool. So it displays a list of all the players and their ping, uh, how good their connection is. And I guess now it also displays the skin, which is neat. But you can actually add messages on the top and bottom of that which is really uh, nice and helpful. So if the user ever goes to check that list, then they can see uh, what's going on there. So um, let's try that. And again, we'll just do it in the same place, just a demonstration. But the other method that's not deprecated is the send tab title. And you'll see this doesn't have anything about fading in and fading out, because when you send the title, that title will stick um, and, you know, until you change it. So whatever I set the header and footer to be is what it will be until uh, until I change it again. So let's just say that the, the header is um, players online and the footer is tell your friends. You want to get more people to join the server, right? So again, this is sent on player join and this only needs to be done once and it'll stick for as long as that player is uh, on the server. So now I'm going to quit so I can fire that event. And I log in, I get that nice uh, title there. Really cool. Um, and then that fades out. Good. And if I press and hold tab, you'll see at the top it says players online, Pogo 29 And then at the bottom it says tell your friends. So those messages weren't there before, but now um, you can actually have headers and footers there, which is neat. Let's just quickly see, because I'm pretty sure, I know that colors are supported here. And I, I'm actually uh, 
99% sure that they're supported up here, and I think you can just use chat color. So, oh, I gotta import it. So let's just find out for a second, because that would be especially cool to have colored uh, messages. And was that an exception? Was it? Was it? Was it? Yeah, it was. Um, I wonder what that... Oh, that was band management. Okay. That was a player login. All right. Well, something about band management. I think it's. I think the server is down. So don't worry about that. But um, let's just try joining again, and uh, we'll see. There it is. Pogo's server written in red. So again, that's really cool. Um, oops. Zero. So that was something that was uh, highly requested that I do, and I wanted to do it. Um, but now I finally got around to doing it, so awesome. So that is how to do titles and subtitles and tab titles, which again is there, you can do that in color as well. It adds another extra flair or depth to your server, and for pretty much any server type, you can think of uh, an application where it would be useful um, to have a title. It's just another way, instead of sticking messages in the chat bar, if you have really important messages that you want to put up in, in center, uh, then that's a great way to do it. So, as always, subscribe if you want to see more. Comment with what you want to learn. If you like the video, click the like button, uh, and I'll see you guys soon with some more videos. Bye for now.